Hello everybody, welcome to Tech Bytes. My name is Anthony Espinosa, and today we're gonna to go over how to access Zoom using your iPhone. So first things first, to get started, what you're gonna to need to do is open up the email with the address and invitation in it. So for the purposes of this tutorial, what you're gonna to wanna to do is follow the link below. This is an example of what the email looks like though. You may also need to download Zoom if you haven't already done that, but you could find this on the App Store. You may also need to create an account if you haven't already done so. We actually have another Tech Byte series that goes into creating an account, so be sure to check that out if you haven't already done that. So, once the app's all set up, once you're into the meeting, the first thing you're going to want to do is connect your audio or dial in. If you don't do this, your instructor, classmates, or friends won't be able to hear you. And I'm a very visual person, so this is what it's all going to look like, okay? Uh, a lot of the features are the same here as they are on the Android and as they are on the PC. So to chat with your facilitators, it's just going to look a little different. You're going to want to click on more and then chat. It's pretty much like texting from there. To share your screen or documents, what you're going to do is click, uh, click share content and then choose what it is you want to share. This could be your screen, photo, or something from the Google Drive. The last thing that's really important is you could use features like reactions. So these could include raise your hand, answering yes or no to a specific question, telling your facilitator you need to step away or take a break, give a thumbs up or thumbs down. These are important because say you're not connected to your visual or audio, you could still let your instructor know how you're doing and interact with the class. I hope you guys found this very helpful. Take care.